No, well, you guys have illegal signs up on your door and I need to speak to your chief or somebody. What are you all running out at once? You guys are ridiculous. All right, so here's your Fort Stockton Police Department, gentlemen. This is what you got going on. Absolutely ridiculous. You gonna run away too? What are you guys, like all scared little rabbits? No, sir. Come on, you're a police officer. You don't have two seconds to speak to a concerned citizen? You have a complaint that you want to file? I do have a complaint that I want to file. Yes, yes sir. sir. I can help you. How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press. And we are coming to you today from Stock Fort Stockton, Texas. Um, we are at the Fort Stockton Police Department today. And we're just going to take a little walk around and uh, pay a little visit on these folks and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of uh, public places. I am out with Watching Watchmen today. And... Uh, I'll give you a better look of the neighborhood once we get out front. Uh, not much to see back here. We're kind of like in the back alley behind the place. Um, but in the meanwhile, time and temperature check. Today is Sunday, March 28th. It is 1.15 in the afternoon, and it is 64 degrees and sunny and beautiful here in Fort Stockton, Texas. Texas plate number 1258293. And then, uh, yeah, all the, looks like all the marked cars are 125. Good, uh, good eye there, Watchman. So, give you a look at what their vehicles look like here. I don't know if they recently updated their uh, designs of their patrol cars, but it's interesting that they have two different schemes going, you know? Oh, do they? Yeah, well, that one's, that one's black and white. This one's all white. Yeah. So I don't know if it's maybe a supervisor thing or... Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But uh, interesting. And then uh, let's see what we have on the doors here. Towing enforced employee parking lot. Unauthorized vehicles will be towed at owner's expense. Oh, I guess this guy's an officer. He lives right across the street. Yeah. That's convenient. <laughs> oh, here they come. In full regalia. Oh, it's going to get me for walking in the road. So we have uh, 8291 and 8293. Stay on the sidewalk. Very strict pedestrian laws here in Texas. How are we doing? Pretty good. How y'all doing? Morning. This is still morning, afternoon. Oh yeah. It's been a long weekend. Has it? Yeah. How y'all doing? Doing well, thank you. Nice. I like the. It was pretty comfortable to hold. Uh, you know, I'd be more comfortable if I had a beautiful blonde to hold it for me, but. I got you. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know how that goes. I got you, brother. I'm All right, buddy. We'll see you around the front. Have a good one. All right, brother. So they're uh, okay with us being out here out back. We'll see how it goes in the front and inside.
palm trees in Texas that are all dried up and dead. It's very dry. This is like, I seriously think this is uh, either as dry or drier than Arizona. Yeah. Uh, this is dry out here, man. If you don't keep drinking water, you'll be in trouble. I'm gonna check out this uh, military vehicle they have parked here. Fort Stockton. If you see this thing pull up in your front yard, man, it's not going to be a good day. That's crazy, right? Yeah. That that's actually a police vehicle. Must be like their SWAT van. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm surprised they need that out here. I don't think uh, there's some major cities in this country that don't have anything like that. There goes a state trooper. So here's one of their pickup trucks. Wonder if the unmarked vehicles have 125 on them too. No, 139. You get a little shot of the sign up here. We're gonna have to speak to him about that flag. Yeah. So we uh, always like to take a moment to recognize Old Glory, waving in the breeze as she should. But uh, not very happy about the condition of the flag, so we'll uh, ask the folks inside about that. See if maybe we can get that replaced. So let's check out the signage on the door here. Yeah, open or concealed. All right, well, if that's the case, um, I am going to uh, run back to the car and get rid of my friend here because I am exercising my 2A today so we can uh, go inside and take a look at the inside. So stand by, we'll be right back. Well, all right, guys, we're back and uh, we're heading in. Show you this uh, ghost lettering vehicle before we head in. After you, Mr. Watchman, sir. I wonder why they bother with the uh, ghost letters if they're going to have the big lights all over. I don't know. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's an excellent point. Lots of wonder whys in this world. Oh, yeah. Why do they have it locked? What is this, like some uh, massive crime area? <laughs> they have to keep the police department locked so they feel safe? Yeah, they keep the doors locked. The, uh, they have like that huge military vehicle. And we know they're in there because we just saw two of them go in. Oh, here's a guy, good. Excellente, state trooper. He might even, uh, 
be the better guy to ask about a couple of things. How are we doing, True? How are you doing? Good, how are you? You're good. Good. Is there a, uh, I was ringing the bell. Do you know if there's an officer in here available we can speak to? Yes, there is. Do you have the key? No one's answering the door. Texas State Trooper. Yes, sir. Have a great day. Yes, sir. How are you? Pretty good, yourself? Doing good. Can I just ask name, badge number, so I know I'm speaking to? Officer Stratton, uh, 119. 119. Thank you, sir. My name's Jason. How are you doing? Uh, good. I'm doing very well. So I just wanted to add a couple of questions for mm -hmm. you. One, um, as far as carrying handgun inside of the police department, mm -hmm. concealed or open carry, that's prohibited by Texas state law? Yeah. Okay. to that. Um, all right. Um, well, you're not the guy to discuss that with because you don't make those decisions, right? right? Exactly. But uh, yeah, I just think that's strange because that's a little uh, unconstitutional to say the least, right? But we'll figure that out with somebody else because that's not your problem. But what, more importantly, believe it or not, the condition of this flag. Yes, sir. We got to get that swapped out, man. That's a we disgrace. Do. Yes, sir. So what do we do about that? I'll let my sergeant know. I noticed it yesterday, so. Did you? Yes, okay. Sir. Um, I'll let him know when he comes on. Because that's actually, I mean, you can see how tattered that. That's actually even more important to me than be, even being able to carry inside the police department. Yes, sir. Um, you know, they're both both of some importance. But, uh, yeah, if you could follow up on that. No, Sergeant's, no, Sergeant's not here? No, not right now. No? No lieutenant, captain, chief? No, sir, nobody's around? the weekend. You keep picking You're the wrong the... day to come by. Well, yeah, I guess maybe we did. So, what, everybody's off? Yeah. How do they have you working on the weekend? Yeah, I hope you get well, overtime. I have, to, I have to work. You get overtime? Yeah, no, it's my scheduled day to work. Oh, is it? Cool. All right on. Well, we appreciate you being cordial and yes, professional. Sir. Thank All you very right. much for that, sir. And uh, if we can take a look at that, we'll come back in a few yeah. days, check you out, and hopefully we got that fixed. All right, sir. All right, we'll brother. You. Thank you. I appreciate you. We'll you too. Guys. Take care. Love take care, Troop. All right, Trooper, can I just ask your name and badge number so I know who I spoke to? Alex Ortego, 15740. Thank you, sir. All right. You have a very good day. Likewise. And stay safe out there. Always. All righty. I drive to Austin right now. Drive to Austin? Yes, sir. What do they got you doing there? Training. There you go. Good. We'd love to see you guys getting training. It's a very fast changing world and training is very good. Appreciate it. All right, brother. Be Thank safe. You. you too. And uh, I should have actually asked if we'd come in and take a look at the police department. Yeah. But I, I, I forgot. I so. Probably going to say no public access on the weekend. Why? Well, yeah. Where does it say that? We should have ran the other one because that's the one he came out of anyway. Yeah. Takes a state trooper to get him open the door. Yeah. Well. Wow. You can't see anything in there. Dark as night. They have all the lights shut off. Well, let's go around the back. That's where they all are anyway. I'd like to take a look at the inside of the police department. Unfortunately, can't get anybody to talk to you unless uh, state trooper comes by. Yeah, right. That's one to uh, see. So it's 30.06 and 07. Yeah. We have to look that up. Those are the uh, two statutes that do not allow you to carry inside of the police department. Now, I also want to mention that there is a chance that that statute does not cover the police department, and they're just saying it does. Yeah. Um, police departments have been known to do that kind of stuff. So uh, we're going to look that up and check. Actually, I think Watchman's looking it up now. Uh, but that does happen, believe it or not. They will just put up signs saying there's a statute where there is a legit statute that they don't fall into. Um, happens in uh, Denver specifically. So Watchman's looking into that, and we're going to walk around the back of the building and uh, see if we can get one of these officers to let us come inside and take a look. Stand by. No, we got one parked in the roadway here. And there's plenty of, uh, plenty of spaces.
Well, that's interesting because what I'm uh, getting out of that is that those two are for, like, if you want to post that sign on your private business, that's what you have to post. So, so those don't, don't apply to police departments? Yeah, I think that's just the generic no gun sign. For private businesses? Yeah. So what's the, look up what the rule is. We looked all this up, but just to do it again, look up what the uh, law is as far as carrying into public, go, you know, like government uh, buildings. Yeah. See if police departments listed as a no-go on there. And then if not, we'll have to see if we could talk to somebody about that, but they're not answering the door, so we might have to ring until we drive them nuts. What? It is an exemption to the application of this section that the property on which the license holder carries a handgun is owned or leased by a governmental entity. It is an exemption to the application of this section that the property on which the license holder carries a handgun is owned or leased by a governmental entity. So if it's owned or leased by a governmental entity, it's exempt from that statute. Yeah. All right, so keep that, send me, te take a screenshot of that and text it to me. And let's go try to get somebody to answer the door, because that means they have illegal signs up on the door, on the entrance. All right, guys, so watching a watchman here, just did a little research on his phone, and uh, those statutes apply to private businesses. Um, there is an exemption written into that, those statutes, for any property or building which is owned or leased by a governmental agency. Um, so according to Texas state statute, the way I'm reading it, citizens have every right to open carry or conceal carry inside of the police department. So we're gonna go see if we can get somebody to come out and discuss that with us. Stand by. Somebody's in here. Oh, I think they turned the lights on. So now they're just ignoring this. That's great. Well, I'm gonna keep ringing the doorbell until somebody comes out, because I know they're here. Stay on that one, ring that one again. Maybe they're just in the back and they don't hear it. I'll give them that. So we have both bells going now. <laughs> wow. And they were being so friendly, too. What went wrong? Maybe I forgot to use deodorant today. I turned off again. I'll go get this one. I don't know why they don't just answer the door. Like I said, maybe they're in the back and they don't hear it. I don't know. That would pretty much be the only thing that makes sense because if we have five grown men in there with guns and badges hiding from us, that's a little weird. So if they don't answer this time, we'll just go back around the back and we'll have to uh, knock on the back door. Yeah, yeah and just so you guys know, because in, in the state of Texas, if somebody has uh, it posted outside of their private business, that they do not want you to bring a firearm into their business. That is legally enforceable. Uh, so you would be guilty of trespass by a license holder with a concealed handgun or open carried handgun um, on private property. Um, 
here on public property, that's not the case. So I hope we get to speak to somebody. We're, we're gonna keep trying. Let's go around the back and knock on the door. Hello? That guy that came out before realizes you can't pretend nobody's home when you already came out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, it's amazing. He was like standing there with the door open waiting for the trooper. Wish the uh, private citizens that got, got that kind of welcome. Yeah. They should open the door and say, hey, it's hot and dry outside. You guys want a glass of water or something? How can we help you? Instead, they pretend that they're not here. Which is very telling in my book. Yeah. I don't know, those uh, actions speak louder than words. And uh, never judge a man by what he says. Judge him by what he does. I mean, I have a you know, steadfast way to get them out here. If they don't want to come out, I'll just start filming inside the cars. They'll be out here in 15 seconds. But we're trying to do it the correct way. I really, this is ridiculous. We're at the police department. We saw, uh, we have we know there's the one guy in the front, then we saw the other guys, two guys pull up. Yeah. So there are at least, absolutely guaranteed, at least three police officers inside of this building and they won't answer the door. So what does that tell you? Yeah, people who- All these uh, patrol cars parked out here, they gotta be somewhere. So. You know, and people who are proud of what they do and proud of their city and proud of their police department would come out with a big smile on their face and a handshake. Hiding behind closed doors is uh, a little strange. Uh, there's a doorbell here. There's a doorbell? Yeah, on this one. Do you remember what that officer's name was that came out? Uh, no. Nope. Yeah, good. Well, I don't feel that bad then that I can't remember. Yeah, hey, I remember the trooper's name, but I don't remember that guy. It was something that when he said it, I was like, I didn't even know how to spell it. I was looking for it on the shirt, but I didn't see it. Really? That's why you don't remember it? What do we have to do, like call the police department? The number's right on that. Uh... Well, we had to do that in Billings, remember? Was it Billings? Was it Billings? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Billings, yeah. Got to call the police department. We were standing right in front of dispatch and we had to call the police department and speak to her over the phone. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, all right, let's call them. Maybe they'll, uh, maybe they won't answer the phone. Yes, hi. Um, I'm at the Fort Stockton Police Department and I'm outside ringing the bell trying to speak with an officer and nobody's answering the door and I know there's several officers here. Is there any way you could uh, give them a call and ask somebody to come outside? And what do you need them for? I need to discuss uh, some... I was just speaking to one of the officers. I can't remember his last name and I just need to follow up on my conversation with him. Okay, what is your name? My first name is Jason, ma'am. Hello? I'm, I'm here, I'm writing it down. Oh, okay. So um, I'll go around, I, we came around the back to see if I saw anybody. So I'll go around by the front door and wait for him and hopefully you can have somebody step out and just speak to us for a moment, please. Yes, yeah, somebody here. There's a bunch of, all the cars that are there are not like, they're at extra cars. Yes, yeah, somebody here. There's a bunch of, all the cars that are there are not like, they're extra cars oh. no that's not true man we just we just saw two of the vehicles pull up and two of the officers go inside and that's how i actually had a conversation with one of them okay, so they're well, here they're just not I'm answering sorry, the door I seen them. 
Okay. All right. I will get a hold of them. All right. Thank you. All right, ma'am. And can I ask your name, please? Um, Jennifer. Your name's Jennifer, and you're a dispatcher? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jennifer. Appreciate your help. And they should come out and talk to us, because otherwise they're just going to get lit up with phone calls. Yeah. They're going to spend more time answering the phone than they are talking to me. Hit that again, and I just want to give you guys a good look at the sign they have out here, and you can do your own research. But uh, 30.06, again, is uh, referencing privately owned businesses. Publicly owned and leased businesses are specifically exempt in the statute, and they fail to mention that here. Is that the, um, is that the same number for the dispatch you called, or is that a different one? Uh, I think it's the same number. Yeah. Maybe. I'll check. Well, the upkeep here is really uh, not all that great. The police logo peeling off of the door. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, same phone number. See, so what the issue here is, is they probably uh, think it's just two guys that are a little concerned about a flag. They don't realize that there's uh, a couple of more people that are interested in what we're doing here. Yeah. Um, so we may have to, if they're going to refuse to answer the doors, guys, we may have to uh, ask you to call them up and find out what's going on here. And let them know that uh, there is a genuine large public interest in... Uh, our purpose here today. I guess the uh, entire police department's just abandoned in their uh, post here. And they have dispatch lion for them. That's very interesting. The guys, really gonna pretend like there's nobody here after we just have a conversation. <laughs> oh, I don't even think they care. At this point, I don't even think they care about pretending anything. They just don't feel like they have any need to answer the door for two citizens that are outside ringing the bell. What if somebody just assaulted me on the corner in between our conversation and now and I'm trying to get help? Yeah. Don't get any ideas, Watchman. Well, they're gonna need to leave sooner or later, so we'll just go hang out by their cars. Man, hide and go seek with the cops. How's it going, sir? How's it going? Good. You live here across the street? Yes, sir. Oh, here we got one. Yeah, now they're coming out. How we doing, fellas? Pretty good yourself. Good. I just had just want to follow up my conversation with you real quick. No, well, you guys have illegal signs up on your door, and I need to speak to your chief or somebody. What are you all running out at once? You guys are ridiculous. All right, so here's your Fort Stockton Police Department, gentlemen. This is what you got going on. Absolutely ridiculous. You gonna run away too? What are you guys, like all scared little rabbits? No, sir. Come on, you're a police officer. You don't have two seconds to speak to a concerned citizen? You have a complaint that uh, you want to file? I do have a complaint that I want to file. Yes, yes sir. sir. I can help you. You have illegal signs on the front of your business that say we're not allowed to carry concealed or open carry inside okay. of your business. That only applies to private property, not government agencies. Okay. Unfortunately, so I, you know, I want to leave a message for okay. your chief is what yes, I'm sir. doing. I don't expect you to answer that. You're being very professional, very cordial, and I appreciate that, but I know you don't make those decisions. So I'm just trying to get a message to your chief. That's okay. all. Like I said, I don't know. They told you, but you can go Monday to Friday, 8 to 5, and speak to him. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, your chief is here? Yes, sir. Can somebody just leave a message for him? Yes, sir. Is that possible? Do you, uh, do you have an ID that, I, that way I, I can leave a name for you, or do you want to give me your name? My first name's Jason. Jason, okay. Yep. I'm off to you. I'll you later. 
How do you, what is it again? John Aguilera. Aguilera. Okay, I yes, like sir. to pronounce people's names properly. I appreciate that. What's your badge number, sir? 124. 124. Why are these guys just like running out? We, we just got a hit and run. So that's where we're, we're on our way to. Okay, how come nobody answers the door here though? I've been ringing the bell for 20 minutes. Oh, we don't get access to the bells. You don't get access to the bells? Yeah, we don't, we don't hear bells. Like, I don't know what bell you're, you're I was knocking on the doors, ringing the bell. What if God, thank God I wasn't having an emergency. Okay. You know, it's terrible service. You guys, if somebody's ringing your doorbell at the police department, you guys got to open the door. Okay, yes, sir. Don't you agree with that? To an extent. No, to an absolute, you have to open the door. You guys are armed and badged up and you do, you, what are you, are you afraid of somebody? No, I'm not afraid of no one. Okay, well then, please do me a favor. Next time a citizen's ringing the bell, knocking on the door, that person might need help. Answer yes, the door. Okay. You know, you don't you know, know what's going on. Dispatch to speak to I spoke to dispatch. Dispatch lied to me and told me there was nobody here. Okay. So there's something very fishy going on in, uh, Fort Stockton, Texas, and I don't know what that is. You have a tattered flag flying out in the front, right? You have illegal signage up on the front, which is just lying to the public, telling them they're not allowed to conceal carry or open carry in here, which you are absolutely allowed to do that. Okay. There's an exemption you written into those statutes. Can, can I get a business card from you? Yes, sir. And I'm going to rely on you to relay this message to the chief, and I'm going to call up and follow up on it. We're definitely not going to forget about it and disappear. So please continue your professionalism and make sure you get the message to the chief for me. Yes, sir. I would very much appreciate it. And I'm going to tell the chief how professional you are. So please make sure that message gets to him. I'm counting on you. So my pen's back, I think a little bit. Uh, it's Aguilera. Okay. And what was badge number again? 124. 124. Okay. Yes, sir. No. And again, you've been very professional, but you got to keep that up. You got to get my message. I've, you know, as a citizen, I'm asking you to get a message to your chief. Yes, sir. Yeah, we'll, so please we'll do that for me and tell him I'm going to give them a call. I'll, you'll speak to him probably Monday, uh, right? Yes, tomorrow. Sir. So I'll give him a call on Tuesday. Okay. I'll give you tomorrow to speak to him yes, and then sir. I'll call him on Tuesday. Okay. All right. Okay. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you. And stay safe out there. Thank you guys. All right. And don't hide from anybody, man. Tell these fools to open the door when somebody's ringing the bell. There's nothing to be afraid of. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. So that's vehicle number 113 And uh, kudos to that officer for taking a moment and speaking to us. I believe they're going to a call, maybe. I don't know. All right, so that was Officer Aguilera. Uh, 124 is the badge number. And uh, phone number here at headquarters is area code 432-336. 4600. Uh, that's the Fort Stockton Police Department here in Texas. And uh, the chief's name is Robert Lujan, chief of police, uh, who is supposedly here from 8 to 4, 8 to 5. I forget what he said, Monday through Friday. Um, so I'm going to invite you guys to, uh, let me turn this around. I'm going to invite you guys to give these folks a call and uh, let them know how you feel about what you saw here today. I mean, I don't think that's acceptable. I don't think it's right that they have illegal signage or unlawful signage or uh, misrepresentative signage up on the front of the building. Uh, the tattered flag pisses me off flat out. Um, and uh, you have every right to seek redress with your government and its employees if you choose to do so. Uh, the only thing we do ask, as we always ask, is keep it professional. Keep your call about business. No yelling and screaming, no profanity, no acting like a fool. If you have a legitimate concern about what you saw here today and you want to legitimately discuss that with someone here at the police department, mayor's office, whatever it may be, I'm going to include all that information in the uh, description. You guys can feel free to do so and I invite you to do so because uh, I think this is pretty awful behavior by a police department. Um, so that's it. I always like to remind you guys, if you enjoy these videos, you like what we do and you appreciate what we do, uh, we always invite you to like, share, comment, subscribe. That's the best way you can help our channels out, uh, hands down, and it doesn't cost you a penny. Uh, YouTube's algorithm loves that stuff, gets our videos out to more and more folks so more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something. Um, I'm learning things I've never seen before out here myself. So uh, I invite you to do the same for watching The Watchman. Uh, his channel's doing great. He's got maps and information, his own narration, obviously, and plenty of stuff that you won't see here on his channel. So I'll also leave a link for that, uh, for his channel in the description. And for those of you who don't know, Watching the Watchman is my son. Uh, very proud of the work he's doing and uh, how he's coming along, coming into his own. Uh, so give him a little support and check him out. Um, but that's it. So we're going to hop in the truck, head down the road, and see what else we could find for you here in Fort Stockton. Uh, the day is young. Um, and that's it. So coming to you from the abandoned hide-and-go-seek Fort Stockton Police Department here in Fort Stockton, Texas, watching the Watchmen, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.